Well, I, I got started by a stroke of fate. I happened to meet uh, a young black drummer at the, at the Savoy Ballroom in New York City. His name was Chick Webb. And uh, a young girl by the name of Ella Fitzgerald had just joined the band. And I got to do all her early arrangements for Decca Records. And one day she said to me, uh, gee, I got a great idea for a song. Uh, why don't you try to uh, work up a little idea on, on a, the old nursery rhyme called a tisk and a tasket? I said, that's a wonderful idea. Uh, well, let, me, let me think about it. And uh, brought it to the rehearsal. They loved it and put it on the air that night. And two weeks later, recorded the song in New York on my birthday, by the way, in 1938. And it, was, it came out in the summer, and it was number one on the Lucky Strike hit parade for 19 weeks. So, so I get a call from Alan Burns. He said, Jim and I have this pilot. It's called the Mary Tyler Moore Show. And we wondered if you'd be interested in doing the music. We heard it's like your, your wife sent us some of your records and everything. We think you'd be perfect for it. Sure. So. We did the pilot, which nobody thought was gonna go anywhere. And all of a sudden, the Mary Tyler Moore Show becomes the standard of the industry for comedy, it just did. And then Rhoda, and then other things, and then Lou Grant, and, all, and MTM became the gold standard for at least 10 to 15 years. 